have a breaking news update to bring you after a shooting shuts down I-75. Nine News reporter Sayed Shabir is live at Hopple on I-75. He has the latest for us. Sayed? Brandy and Tanya, this all started about 3 o'clock this afternoon right here at this Shell gas station at I-75 and Hopple Street. Two men were here. They had some sort of nonverbal communication. And then when one car left, the other car followed. Now, this is what it looks like. Uh, on I-75. This white car is the victim's car and this black SUV is said to be the suspect's car. Police say the black car got behind the white car, then pulled up alongside it and began firing at the white car, all while going about 50 or 60 miles an hour and police say it could have been a lot worse. The driver of the black vehicle began firing several shots at the two individuals that were in the white vehicle that had just left the Shell station. Um, the preliminary interview of the driver of the white vehicle, he has no clue why this altercation happened. Now this is a picture we have of the man who police believe to be the shooter. He's a black male in his mid-20s wearing a white shirt, blue jean shorts, and dark boots. He's about 5'9 and weighs 170 pounds. Now there was one victim in this shooting. He was the passenger in that white car. He was shot in the arm and taken to University Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. But police are asking the public now if you've seen that suspect or have any information on what happened, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers 513-352-3040. Brendan, Tanya? Some frightening moments on the interstate. It's the Sayed Shabir reporting live for us. Thanks. Sarah